world is doing today. <sighs> but it's got me thrown off. I don't know what I'm growing. I keep getting vomit to here. And then it just goes. <laughs> oh. I didn't come to work yesterday because I was throwing up. I was throwing up and then I and then like I wasn't throwing up blood but I felt like it shredded my throat so much that I was just like having pools of blood in my mouth and um I was just like not today not today I can't just couldn't normally I come to work because I mean what am I meant to do like take three to four months off work because you're pregnant. It's just not gonna happen. I mean, financially, it's not gonna happen. So I um, I just took yesterday off and I was like, no. And I stayed home. But honestly, it's kind of worse. I just, I feel shit at school. But it's even worse like having, I don't know, it just, I don't know, at least I just kind of getting on with stuff kind of, I don't know, helps pass it, but um, <laughs> I just have no energy, like hence no makeup, no nothing. And my students were like, oh, Miss Howe, like what, what's going on? And I'm like, no eyebrows, honey, no concealer, zero energy. I'm sat here grading books and I just keep wanting to vomit. And I'm like, mm -hmm. we're 11 weeks and I'm 12 weeks on Tuesday. And I'm like, come on, child. Well, she put my due, due date back, well, forward, back, back to June 22nd. And it was basically a week late. I think I was originally like June 18th, maybe, or 19th, not even a week, like four days. But it basically took me back to like week 10 or week nine. And I was just like, that's a whole nother week of nausea and shitting, vomiting. But touch wood. I've said it and I'll say it again. It's different. If this is a if this is a boy, Finn was just a whole different child. Okay? He was just a whole different child. Finn I was much more nauseous. This is just like vomit. You're gonna vomit. Vomit, vomit here, vomit there, vomit here, vomit there. You're just gonna vomit. It's a little less nausea, but that's like yesterday and today is more nausea and I'm just like, what's happening? What's happening? just wanted to keep my vlogging my diary updated i don't know what to call this like pregnancy diary well the first one was like conceiving diary maybe we could have conceiving diary and then pregnancy diary but it's friday and i got starting to buy a new christmas tree because we need one i started editing the conceiving vlogs yesterday and i feel a little bit emotional i've been putting them off because i just didn't want to revisit those feelings and um but i've had to you know I'm gonna have to so I'm just like I'm nervous I always said I'll share it when I'm ready which is why I haven't shared it from you know December last year because I just didn't haven't felt ready and it's something I want to share it's something I just want other women to feel and know and like everything else I share I just wanted to update you guys it's Friday yeah Saturday Sunday what I'm going before this vomit comes up here and out here. Bye, honeys. Hey guys, so I'm about to post part one of our trying to conceive diary, which is everything that I've done on my phone since um, the beginning of this year. And so, I feel very nervous. I don't know. It's just like the share, the overshare. I don't know. I'm an oversharer, but this just feels different. But I know I need to share it. I know I must share it because the fact that I want to stay silent is the reason I should share it. So here goes. I don't know if I can click it. <laughs> okay.
I'm doing it. Done. Done. I've done it. I've saved it. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's clear. It's gone. It's live. It's done. Oh my god. We are on the way to the doctor. This is our three month check scan. I'm 13 weeks plus one day. That one day is important because when you're 13 weeks plus six, you're basically 14. So we need to tell everybody where, where we're at. So we're 13 plus one. Um, <coughs> I'm gonna ask her about my cervix today because I'm a little bit worried about that. Other than that, everything's been fine. The nausea, the nausea is going away. And um, it's getting easier. In 300 meters, keep right at the fork. Um, what else? My gums are very sensitive, so anything is. If I brush my teeth, floss, sometimes I ate something yesterday. I ate a sandwich yesterday, and my gums were bleeding. Um, everything's just a little bit sensitive. Uh, the only signs the same as the cervix with Finn was that there's some like sharp cramps. Keep right at the fork. Kind of like lightning down there and some backache and we're only 13 weeks i think with finn we were about we we're about 16 or 17 when he when we found out the cervix was short but there's a 99 percent chance that the cervix is going to be short again so i'm pushing for a cervical stitch which means i'll just stitch up my cervix and then take it out around 36 weeks but um or they're going to keep me on progesterone but we've got to pay 5,000 NT every time, every month. 5,000 NT is how much in pounds? 100. 100 pound a month for progesterone. I know it's to keep the baby safe, but I'd rather you'd pay less for the cervical stitch. Um, Just do that and then it, I'll feel safer. So I'm gonna push for that today, but I think she's gonna be reluctant until she sees the cervix shortening, which is what they did last time. And then they were like, it's too late. You can't have a cervical stitch no more. Um, so yeah, it's exciting. And if today is well and everything is fine, then we will start to let, well, not let people know, but I don't know. I feel different about this pregnancy about other than screaming at the top of my lungs that I'm pregnant because I guess it's just fear. But, um, I definitely need to tell colleagues because <laughs> the belly ain't small no more. And, um, Keep you guys updated. We can never film in there. I always ask Sang to secretly film, but he gets paranoid. I don't know if you can hear me, but Is that, is that a real pregnancy craving? I just wanna. Mm. I said, Pam, I could, I could eat a whole jar if I didn't contain myself. Good morning. Hi guys, I was just watching Jen M. I love her on YouTube. Um, she's married to Ben, who's a British guy. So then you get a little, get a little bit of a British, a little British sprinkle in you. Sometimes you just crave some British people. Um, but I've actually come to just talk and update and uh, go through some chizé with you. Um, where are we at? We are, what am I? I think I'm 14 weeks exactly tomorrow. Uh, 14, 15, 14, 14 weeks tomorrow. Yeah, I have to think about it. 14 weeks tomorrow. Um, I've been having lots of sharp zapping, lightning pain in my crotch, very low down towards my pubic bone, which I had with Finn and then later on found it was uh, a short cervix, a weak cervix, an incompetent cervix, whatever you want to call it. I mean, it's not to say your cervix can't, your cervix is you know, weak, it's just short. 
I think mine was just short. I mean, I never had any fun in it, fun, funneling, funneling, which is when your cervix is opening. It was just short, but it stayed short. Um, nausea, sickness is getting better. But I was saying to my friend last night, I was like, with Finn, I just remember when it stopped, it stopped. It just went. But with this, it's like it stops, but it's lingering around you. Still meh all the time. And yesterday we went to X Park, which is like an aquarium new-ish in Taipei. And I wanted to go and take Finn and we did, but I was just a bad, not a bad person. I was just like not a good person to go with. Luckily, Sang, you know, was very enthusiastic <laughs> with him. But I was just at the back like, oof. And Sang offers me all this delicious food. He offers me everything that I want to eat that I would normally eat. And I'm just like, no, no, no. Uh. And he's like, are you okay? And I'm not being really being sick anymore. I just feel, the. Uh. So that's how I feel. I don't know. I'm like 14 weeks. Okay. Maybe 16, maybe 20. I might start feeling my appetite back. I have zero appetite kind of just want to eat fruit and rice and I'm just like not with it so we have to go back to the doctor on the 30th today is 21st of December we have to go back on the 30th because from now on she will check me every two weeks just to keep an eye on the cervix which I appreciate because I really feel like she's listening to me we changed doctors and hospitals since Finn's one um not saying that that one was bad we survived I survived Finn was very healthy, came out. Um, it just wasn't the experience I had in mind. Is that to blame them or is that to blame nobody? I don't know. So I changed to somewhere else where lots of people um, highly recommended them. And it's a water birth unit. So yes, I've decided I am going VBAC. I'm going to be a VBAC mum, vaginal birth after cesarean. I'm not scared. I wasn't scared whilst doing it. The pain was horrendous. The cesarean pain was horrendous. I remember saying at least the first six months after Finn was born, I'm not having any more kids. But I'm not scared. I'm not scared to feel the pain. I mean, I was, I was at, I was like pushing at 10 centimeters for five hours on nothing. You know, it was, it just got tiring and I was like, I can't do it no more. And they were like, yeah, your son's not gonna come out here from China. So yeah, that's what I've got to update you with. We've got Christmas dinner on the 25th at a pub. A British pub, so I'm excited about that. Um, we're gonna do presents on the 26th because, you know, Christmas doesn't doesn't exist in Taiwan. Sang is basketball work. I'm working, but yeah, I think that's all I've got to really update you on right now. I'm feeling okay. I've still got cotton mouth, you know, it's just very dry. I've got a lot of work to do anyway, so I'm gonna go, and I'll keep you updated. Uh, maybe after the next check or if anything happens in between. So we are in the doctors. Um, when we come in, we get TB temperature check and a stamp. That means to say they're clear of COVID, whatever it is they're testing. Um, Every time I come in, I've got to pee on a stick, get weighed, have blood pressure, and then they always check if I've got anything coming up like bloods or anything just to do with the baby. Today, we got an app. Download the app. All of our scans will go to the app. Amazing. So it's exciting. We're number five, it's just number two. So yeah. Um, where we're at. Exciting. I am 15 weeks plus two days. We are in month four of pregnancy. And um yeah. Thanks doing work. Thank you.